far, we have heard the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, two very evil cities because of their sexual crimes. But did you know that their crime is not only that? The people of Sodom and Gomorrah were very cruel to foreigners and poor people who entered their territory. Keep watching this video until it's finished so you understand why God was so angry with Sodom and Gomorrah. And the cities of Sodom had four judges for the four cities, and these are their names, Sarek in the city of Sodom, Sharkad in Gomorrah, Zabak in Adma, and Menon in Zoboim. And by order of the four judges, the people of Sodom and Gomorrah made beds by the side of the city streets. And if a stranger comes to these places, they seize him and bring him to one of their beds. And they force him to lie on that bed. And when he lay down, three men would stand at his head and three at his feet, and measure him to the length of the bed. If the man was shorter than the bed, these six men would stretch him out at each end, and three men would pull his legs and three others would pull his arms in opposite directions so that the man died. But if the stranger's body was longer than the bed, they would join the sides of the bed together at each end, until the person died. And if he kept shouting at them, they would answer him, saying, This is what would be done to a foreigner who comes to our land. And when people heard of all the things the townspeople of Sodom were doing, they refrained from coming there. And when a poor man came to their land, they would give him lots of silver and gold ornaments, and make announcements throughout the city not to give him a piece of bread to eat. And if the stranger had stayed there a few days, he would have died of starvation. He died because he could not get food. So at his death all the townspeople would come together and take the silver and gold they had given him. And those who could recognize the silver or the gold they had given him, they took it back. And at the death of the poor man, they also took off his clothes, and they would fight over the clothes, and he that was victorious over his neighbor would take them. After that they would take him and bury him under some bushes in the desert. That's what they would do every day for any foreigners who entered their territory.